Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I want to run you through this beautiful note card. It says, so happy for you. I think you can send it for anything. Um, I'm probably going to use it as a wedding card because it reminds me of a cousin's wedding invitation. Um, I've got a wedding coming up next month. But um, I think so happy for you can be for just about any good news. Um, it's a very Pinterest-inspired card, and it is um, the card that we did today at coffee and a card. If you live in the Chicago area, I'm in Rolling Meadows and every other Wednesday I have coffee and a card. I open my home, we make a card, we have coffee, coffee cake or bagels or something. And we hang around, we talk and we make a card. It's five dollars, it's free with a thirty-five dollar Stampin' Up! order. It's a lot of fun. In a perfect world I would have done this video for you last week and let you know that it was coming up, but I've been at on stage in Easter and this is still a great video tutorial. So let's get started. Here's the Stampin' Up! products that you need to make this card. I have two bundles here. Sunshine Sayings with the Sunshine Wishes dies, and Jar of Love with the Everyday Jars framelits. Now these two um, bundles, these four products are carrying over to the new Stampin' Up! catalog. However, the bundle discount is only available in the 2017 catalog. Once we go to 2017-2018 catalog, the bundle discount disappears. So if you like these products, had your eye on them anyway, go to kitchentablestamper.com and we can set you up with an order before they, um, before we lose the bundle discount. For our Stampin' Pads, we're going to use Tip Tap Taupe, which is a 2015-17 in color and it's about to retire. Got Mint Macaroon and that's also a 2015-17 in color. That one's about to retire. I think that these are only available, these ink pads are only available right now if you buy the whole bundle. Um, Calypso Coral and Sweet Sugar Plum. I have these adorable little sprinkles embellishments. These are from the Occasions catalog and they are retiring. And then for our paper consumables, I have a mint macaroon card base. And it is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a whisper white piece that's a quarter inch smaller, so five and a quarter by four. And I already cut this. We're going to do some die cutting, and so you'll see how to use the Big Shot, but I did this ahead of time. This is a tip top taupe. It's a heart that comes from the um, Sunshine Wishes dies, and you'll need a piece of tip top taupe that's about two and three quarters by three to do that die cutting. And then I just have some random scraps of Whisper White to make our flowers. Okay. Now, the first thing that we're going to do here is um, get some stamping. So let me get my ink pads and my stamp and pierce mat and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my So Happy For You sentiment and I'm going to uh, kind of line it up where I think my words are parallel to one of my grid lines. I'm gonna put the edge of my block parallel to a grid line, ink up and I'm gonna stamp when I stamp, I've got the edge of the block directly along one of these grid lines, and I can see that my sentiment is not uphill or downhill at all. The grid paper helps me determine that. So now I can bring my project in, and when I ink up with the tip top taupe and line up the bottom of my block with the bottom of my cardstock and stamp, I have a sentiment that runs perfectly across the bottom of my card, not uphill or downhill. So that's done. And then we're going to do a little two-step stamping here. So I've got my little flowers from Jar of Love. These are the kind of solid background image. I'm going to stamp those, stamping off first two times, and now I've got the detail stamp for the two-step stamp, and I'm going to stamp that one over top without stamping off. See that nice dimension that we put in there? 
Now the same thing with the Sweet Sugar Plum and this Bigger Bloom. We're going to do two of those stamp off first. And then we'll get the little detail piece, ink it up, and stamp inside without stamping off. So we're getting that pretty dimension. Okay, now I've got a little image from the Jars of Love that looks like four little eyelashes almost. I'm gonna ink those up with a tip top taupe and stamp them right inside my flower, see? Now, on this other scrap of Whisper White, I've got Mint Macaroon and a sprig, and I'm gonna stamp two of those. And we don't need them quite as long as the stamp, so it is a-okay to let those hang off the edge. Um, lastly, I'm gonna need a couple of these little leaves and we're just gonna stamp them kind of in the open areas here. Okay, now for some die cutting. I'll get the Big Shot. Okay, so I'm back with the Big Shot and we can run lots of these dies at one time. Here's the dies that we're using. If you saw my, oh, that's glaring. There you go, if you saw my video with the Jar of Love and the Dragonfly Dreams, you'll remember maybe me talking about how you stamp this little thing and it's got a die that cuts them both out at one time individually. And so here is how that one works. And I've got a magnetic platform, but because I'm gonna run through so many dies at one time, I am going to get a little bit of washi tape and just tack these dies down. Okay, there we go, we're all set up. And see how many I can run at one time? I'm gonna go ahead and do that, rinse and repeat, and I'll be back. Okay, so I did the rinse and repeat. I'm on my second run through the big shot here. And I just wanted to show you, see how nice this cuts out those little individual flowers. And when you're doing two at a time, the two different sizes, it really is pretty speedy. It's a nice feature. Okay, I'm back with all my die cut pieces. And the first thing that I wanna do here is adhere this heart to my Whisper White. And I am going with my trusty multi-purpose liquid glue. And with the fine point, all you have to do is trace these curves and kind of spread with the tip as you go. Okay, so I've got my multi-purpose liquid glue kind of dotted on the back of that. Now, we want to have our heart high enough so that our little sprigs don't overlap our sentiment. So make sure you put it up just a bit higher, keeping in mind those leaves are going to hang down. All right, then speaking of our leaves, we want to just trim these stems a little bit shorter. We don't need the whole length of them. And we'll arrange those and glue them down with the multi-purpose liquid also. There are our little leaves. Then next up, we've got our sweet sugar plum flowers. We're gonna put dimensionals on the back of those. There they are. 
And then out of these four little Calypso coral flowers, we want one big one and two small ones. And we're gonna put some pieces of dimensional on the back of each one of those. Okay, each of my little Calypso coral flowers is sticky and you wanna add the big one and a small one and then another small one underneath down here. Hmm, I think I want it this way. Okay, and then lastly, our little tip top taupe sprigs. I found that if I just snipped the end off of that bottom one, it was a lot easier to tuck it underneath those other flowers. You just want a little multi-purpose glue on the stem. And then as you're tucking the stem under the flowers, you want to adhere but roll the sprig just slightly. And with the two on the top, same thing, just a little bit of glue on the stem adhere it down and roll the end and get some dimension that way. So there's only glue on the very bottom of the piece. All right, it's looking pretty good. See how each one is so unique? Okay, then back of this piece, we're gonna use lots of dimensionals to hold this up. Okay, I don't like a saggy card front so you see I've got quite a few. All right we'll center this on the mint macaroon card stock and then our last step is our little sprinkles. Okay so maybe you've seen my trick before but what I like to do is grab my paper piercer and I like to put dots where I want my little bling to sit. So I make a little triangle of dots here and then I'm going to touch one of those dots with the tip of my piercer and then reach in to the little sprinkles and that sticky end will just grab the and just grab the sequin and then tuck it into the glue. And then I want one here, and three here. It's best to go in odd numbers. We've got three, one, three. Little clusters of odd numbers are always a good, a good bet. When in doubt, one, three, five. So there they are. Pretty little note cards. So happy for you. Featuring Stampin' Up! Jar of Love. If you've got any questions about this project or a coffee and a card in the Chicago area, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.